The microphones pick up my words, hurls them out full blown, you know, from enormous speakers. And I realize we are doing the very same thing I argued against. You understand that? We blather about the horrors of world war and the rights of man, but what does it all mean if it's not followed by deeds? You know, it's all blah, blah, blah. Well, I finish, but boy, I feel huh, totally drained. I return to my little room at the hotel, Les Etats you know, listening to the little sad tinkling of the piano downstairs, and uh, pull out the flyer with my picture on it <laughs> that was given to these 20,000 people. Tear it up. Crawl into bed. But if my reaction was negative, the world's press reaction was exactly the opposite. News of the event echoed throughout the world. He declared himself the first citizen of the world. Moi, j'ai choisi. In Paris, followers of the American Gary Davis, who called himself world citizen number one, have been demonstrating outside the Chamber of Deputies. <laughs> 2,000 Germans push into Technical University in Berlin to appeal for world citizenship. Drängen sich Menschen aller Bevölkerungsschichten, Berufe und Altersklassen zur Eintragung. Oberstes Ziel der von Gary Davis, dem Weltbürger Nummer 1, in Paris ins Leben gerufenen Bewegung ist, eine Gemeinschaft friedens- und freiheitsliebender Menschen aller Länder und Erdteile zu schaffen. <lacht> 